to learn more. Welcome to the course Sustainability Science. Myself, Dr. Y. S. Kuman, course coordinator of this course Sustainability Science, assistant professor, School of Interdisciplinary and Transdisciplinary Studies in the Ragandi National Open University. As we know, emergence of sustainability science as a new discipline in research and education is one of the important responses to global common commitment to the, to the emerging sustainable development agenda. Key circles and players in the global community, including the general public, you know, policy makers and scientists, have become convinced by the mounting scientific evidence over the past three, more than three decades, that the viability of the life uh, on Earth is seriously threatened by the accelerating pressures from population growth, urbanization rate, expansion in energy intensive production, and consumption activities, climate change, and so on. The world has responded in various ways to these risks. Recognizing the need for urgent action to prevent or ameliorate the expected disastrous consequences of crossing boundaries of natural limits. And we recognize all that thing. Commitment to the emergence sustainable development agenda, like uh, as a sustainable development goals through glo several global initiatives, protocols, policy measures, and action programs and strategy and it has, as a result, dominated the international political and professional debates and cooperative interactions. Few of them are, as you know, the IPCC, Inter uh, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and its protocol like Kyoto, Paris, etc. And we have Millennium Ecosystem Assessment, as we call MEA in different version. Then in IPBSC, Intergovernmental Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, and protection of biodiversity, combating of desertification protocol, and uh, you know, recent last uh, decades UN declaration on sustainable development in different form like UN declaration on education of sustainable, uh, on education of sustainable development. These are among others, there are a number of, I mean, conventions, protocol, etc. However, the lack of understanding of sustainable development is still a problem among us that needs to face whether it is in academy, government agencies, or private enterprises. Again, you know, we the human beings uh, uh, brings out, I mean, uh, two extreme end of the society because of our activities that is highly affluent lifestyle in few corners of the world, and on the other side, we will see unacceptable poverty at most of the places around the world. There is a wide gap that needs to be bring down that at an acceptable level to achieve the sustainable development. So sustainable science is explained as the science of sustainable development. So Igno's vision to this course is to increase and promote research and education in interdisciplinary areas of sustainability for bringing effective policy and planning in developing a sustainable nation, taking the key roles in global common efforts of achieving SDGs by 2030. The major objective of this course is to provide opportunity to the learners to defend their knowledge and understanding about the cross-cutting issues of sustainability, principle of sustainability science, which is, a, which is one of doctrine to achieve sustainable development. Now, when we look into different courses related to sustainable development, we may find a number of courses which talks about the issues of sustainability, which is special reference to either environmental or social economic dimensions. But the need of the hour is to understand these course cutting issues, as we call sustainable development, through the lenses of interdisciplinary perspective and to find a process in achieving sustainability in a in a truly holistic way. But, so under the understanding of issues of sustainability, pathways to achieve sustainability, that is the principle of sustainability science, the basic con concepts on holistic approaches to sustainable development and our responsibilities are being discussed in four main blocks. That is block one, introduction to sustainable development. Block two, it will talk about the basic of sustainability science and its principle, block three, 
that approaches to sustainable development and at last block for uh, it is on ecology, economics, and ethics. The teaching learning processes, it is spread into 12 books, 12 weeks. The major objective of block one, that is introduction to sustainable development is to understand the concept and evolution of sustainable development, its definition and critics. It is being discussed into uh, four units and the teaching learning processes will take in two weeks. Those units, the units we are going to learn are unit one, it will talk about introduction to sustainable development. Goals in the dimension of sustainable development will discuss uh, unit two. Then unit three, uh, it will focus on global challenges of sustainable development. And unit four, and we will find out the basic principle of pathways to sustainable development. The different models of sustainable development, the value of a need for natural capital in bringing a sustained growth are being discussed in this block after having the basic concept, goals, and dimensions of sustainable development, we'll be able to understand the different challenges of sustainable development, especially in this 21st century. A brief elaboration of human population growth rate and its consequences in equities and social discretion, the gifts exist in the inter and the intragenerational equity, climate change, and so on will be in this, discussed in this blog. The concept and the principle of Ibergen revolution is one of the base pathways in achieving sustainable development in context of India are also being explained in this blog. In block two, that is sustainable science, we'll take you to, the, to study on the principle of sustainable science as a new emerging discipline, the need and approaches to sustainable science it has three units, that is ecological foundation of basic human needs, concept of sustainability, and sustainability indicators. In addition to these um, units, we are going to have a special video session on sustainable development goals, SDGs and India. Looking into the issues of sustainability and finding a way to achieve sustainable development goals, the human needs to understand our uh, the human needs to understand our basic human needs as scholars like Maslow's hierarchy of um, uh, these uh, human needs will be explained in these blocks. Different stakeholders, stakeholders, different stakeholders have to take their responsibilities in achieving SDGs by 2030 at different level. Likewise, different institutions, organizations and nations are implementing different policies and programs. They are need a Evaluation of the recent initiative pathways, evaluation of the impacts are very required. And so the concept of indicators are being discussed in this block. And this block is spread into uh, three weeks. That is week th uh, from week three to week five of that uh, this course sustainably shines. And by and the end of fifth week, you will have a clear understanding on sustainable development. The need for sustainability science, the need for sustainability science in achieving SDGs by 2030 and India's achievement so far. From the uh, six weeks onward, means from week six onwards, the course will take you in the direction of finding the approaches in achieving sustainable development. And so the block three, that is approaches to sustainable development has four main units. Natural resource management, landscape ecology, water set management, and participation in policy and planning. The major objective of this block is to study the principles and approaches of natural resource management at landscape level in brief. It also focuses on the participatory principles in successful implementation of resource management. The teaching learning process of this block will be in four, week, uh, four weeks, that is from week six to week nine of the course. As you know, a wise and effective management of natural resources is one of the best approaches to sustainable development. The root cause of the issues of sustainability is the degradation of the quality of the environment due to unmindful exploitation of natural resources throughout the history of human civilization. As we know, any resources you cannot look into isolation. It may be forest, it may be water body, 
it may be agricultural land, it may be barren land, etc. They interact through a cycle as we call resource or material cycle. So the best way to understand this function is to understand the ecology of landscape, always we call landscape ecology, and then managing at water cell level. The role and responsibility of society or the social value of natural resource management for achieving sustainability can be possible when we have an effective community participation. All this, what uh, we are discussing in few seconds, that all, all this concept and the principle are being discussed in brief under the block three. And in block four, last block of this course, that is ecology, economics, and ethics. The main objective of this uh, block is to understand ethical value behind sustainability. The concept of human development index and gross happiness index are discussed for bringing the eco-friendly lifestyle. This block has uh, three units. Unit one on human resource development and eco-friendly lifestyle. Unit two is on education, awareness and environmental ethics. And the unit three is on moving towards green technology. Now in the last three, uh, last, uh, three weeks of the course, that is uh, 10, 11, 12 weeks, we will be able to explore different concepts like eco-friendly lifestyles, ethics, green technology, happiness index, uh, etc. When we talk about fol following the principle of sustainable lifestyle by majority of us, where the present situation are in, this, in the threat of danger, what we have to do? So the convincing each and every person means convincing the people may need to look into their religious point of view of their ethos. So in this context, we are bringing the basic principle of Indian ethos. I mean, after completion of this course, as a learning outcomes, you will be able to explain the need and importance of sustainability science, to discuss the different issues related to sustainability, these, you know, social dimension, ecological dimension, economical dimension, or cross-cutting at different level from local to regional to national to global level. And, and uh, you will be able to become, you know, uh, become an ambassador of promoting a sustainable lifestyle. And if we look as a qualification descriptors, you can be able to demonstrate the comprehensive knowledge and understanding about as a qualification, uh, qualification descriptor, you can be able to demonstrate comprehensive knowledge and understanding about the new emerging discipline, the sustainable science. Use the principle of sustainable science for critical assessment of a wide range of sustainable development projects, policies, and planning at different level. And uh, once can apply the understanding of, I mean, uh, their knowledge or understanding to develop different projects, policies, and planning for achieving sustainable development at different law level. So even then we can look into, I mean, as a major characteristic or attributes of this course will be, for example, uh, you know, what you understand is uh, the major characteristic attributes of this course is you know, disciplinary knowledge and in terms of disciplinary knowledge and skills. You have the capability of demonstrating the comprehensive knowledge and understanding on the fundamental principle of sustainability science, new emerging discipline. As a skill communicator, you will be able to communicate the complex course cutting issues in a simple language at different level. As a critical thinker and problem solver, you will be able to bring out or suggest implementable approach to course cutting issues at different scale. Then you have you will have a sense of query that have a capability to analyze any issues from different perspective at different level, which may be of spatial temporal scale. As a team player or worker, your knowledge on basic principles and approaches to sustainable development will equip yourself as a leader or a I mean uh, proactive member in interdisciplinary or transdisciplinary team. If you look from ethical awareness reasoning point of view, the basic foundation of the program is the principle of ethics. As a lifelong learner, 
you have a capability of self-directed learning aimed at enhancing and improving your knowledge on contemporary global issues in achieving sustainable development at different level. So let us enjoy the learning of the course Snap Designs. Let us be a change maker. So let us meet in the next session for today. Thanks a lot. Thank you.